This is a quick little uh, public service announcement, uh, maybe a, uh, a caution, a warning of some kind for uh, those of us that have uh, sport bikes that have a lot of plastic on them um, and take our bikes in for uh, maintenance at a, a dealership or an approved uh, maintenance facility and expect them to do uh, you know, a superb job on, uh, on what you're asking them to do. I recently took my bike in to get an oil change which uh, should be as simple as just uh, pulling off the oil filter and taking out the drain plug in the bottom and replacing the oil and filter. But as I'm driving it away, I noticed that there was some um, some rattling on the plastics here on the uh, on the right side, and it was something I hadn't noticed before, and I didn't think much of it. Uh, trailered it to uh, a different location when I got home, and uh, was riding it around just a little bit more. And uh, the, the vibrating and the, the rattling of the plastics got even worse. So uh, being a helicopter mechanic, when I got back to the house, even though I've never, you know, wrenched on a, a sport bike of any kind, I decided to pull the plastics off and, uh, and see if I could maybe tighten down something or screw something back in that had maybe come a little bit loose. But I couldn't figure out what it was. So um, I just kept pulling pieces of plastic off till I found something that was loose. And lo and behold, as I'm pulling off the side grill fairings here, um, I noticed that the grommet that is supposed to go right in here is missing. I also noticed that there's a rubber dampener that goes in this hole, which is actually attached to uh, a male end on the, uh, on the fairing, uh, was missing as well. And the reason I know that both of those are missing is because I had to pull off the other side as well to uh, kind of verify that they were indeed not there. So I called up the Kawasaki dealership and the dealership uh, was in Texas. I'm not going to say exactly where it was, but it, it was in Texas. And I called them up and talked to their maintenance supervisor and said, hey, this is what I noticed. And well, can you explain a little bit here to me? And the first thing he said was, well, when you brought it in, you brought it in for an oil change and that's it. There's no reason that our guys would pull the plastics off. I said, yeah, I realize that, but I bought the bike new from you three years ago. I've had it in three times for work to be done on it. Once was that post, post buy inspection where I don't even know what they do on it. Another time was for an oil change. Another time is to have the battery replaced. And this final time was for, uh, for an oil change. And he tried to tell me that, well, you know, uh, it's an oil change, so they're not going to pull off the plastic. So I don't know what you want me to do about it. And I said, well, yeah, I do realize that, that this was an oil change this time, but you also replaced the battery on my bike, and you have to pull off the side drill fairing here to get at the battery box, to get at the battery. Oh, well, they don't need to pull off the side drill fairing for that, you know, and our guys have, uh, you know, 30 years of experience working on bikes, so they wouldn't mess that up. And when he said that, the only thing I could think of was, you know what? Your guys may have 30 years of experience, but that's just 30 years of learning how to cut corners efficiently. So anyway, I didn't tell him that, but that's exactly what I thought. So I kind of told him that, hey, you know, you have to pull off this particular fairing, which is this piece right here to get at the battery box. And you did replace the battery on my bike uh, a year ago. And maybe I just didn't notice it because I haven't ridden it. The thing has 1,300 miles on it. Oh, that was another thing. He tried to blame me that it was in my transporting of the bike that caused a grommet that was supposed to be in here to come out and the dampener, which is supposed to be in here, to come out. And, you know, I don't know if he just didn't know what I was trying to explain to him or what he was thinking, but there is no way in hell that that is physically possible that those grommets that that grommet or that dampener could come out. So, long story short, he tells me that you don't need to pull off this piece of the fairing, which I just showed you, to get at the battery box. So I was not gonna really, you know, angrily disagree with him, but I said, okay, you know what, um, let's just uh, figure out how much these grommets are gonna cost and, um, and, uh, and let's go from there. So after I said that, he, does a 180 and says, well, you know, um, how about in, uh, in good faith, we, uh, we try and get these grommets to you. I said, no, no, let us, let's, let's look at this and, um, and we'll see how much they cost and, 
and all that. So he's on the computer for a couple minutes, has me on hold. He can't find the grommet that I'm talking about or the dampener I'm talking about. So he says, hey, get on, uh, you know, a Kawasaki IPC and, uh, and see if you can find what these part numbers are. So I got off the phone with him and jumped on the internet on Kawasaki, one of Kawasaki's websites, found the IPC, found the grommet, found the dampener, and literally the grommet's $1.50, the dampener's two bucks. It's not a big deal uh, as far as price-wise, but it is a big deal as far as, you know, their, their duty of care when your bike is in a maintenance facility of some kind. I mean, they have a duty of care with your bike not to screw it up. It should come out of the maintenance facility better than it left. But anyway, so I get on the phone with him. Oh, before I got back on the phone with him, I looked up in the Kawasaki maintenance manual to see what exactly the procedure was for removing the battery box, or this battery box cover. The procedure in the Kawasaki maintenance manual says to remove this dashboard fairing up here, which is removed, then remove this piece of fairing, which comes back here and covers the battery box. So if they replace the battery, there is no way that they can get this plastic cover off without taking off this fairing. And somewhere in the process, they either pushed this grommet all the way through when they were trying to do a reinstall, or it came off when they were disassembling it and just didn't bother to put it back on. And you can see on my battery box here, there's some hardcore scarring on my battery box. It's actually a light green paint from the fairing. You can see it here as well. But I didn't try and get a new battery box cover. I just wanted them to send me the grommet. So after I get back on the phone with this guy and I'm like, hey, you know, this is what the Kawasaki maintenance manual says on how to replace the, or to, how to replace the battery over here. He's like, oh, oh yeah, well, uh, you know, maybe, maybe they did do that and they just, you know, pushed it through on reinstall or something like that. You know what? I'll just go ahead and send you those grommets. So, Long the, 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 the thing that bothered me the most about this is not that it happened. It was the fact that they didn't want to own up to it. I bought the bike from this dealership three years ago. It's been in there three times for service. It sat in a garage the rest of the time, but he didn't believe me. He figured I had taken it to some you know mom and pop shop and they had screwed my bike up. That's not accurate at all. And then he told me that my bike had 1,790 miles on it. It's only got 1,380. How he got the 1,790 number, don't have a clue. But like I was telling him, their maintenance guys have a duty of care when the bike is in their possession having maintenance done on it. Now, obviously this isn't a huge structural issue. It was just kind of a, a rattly noise making thing that I didn't like. But there should be a grommet in here and there should be a dampener in here. And he doesn't know what I do with the bike. These maintenance guys don't exactly know what we do with our motorcycles. We could be taking them to the track every weekend, going 180, 100 mile, 190 miles an hour down the track. Now, if everything's not fitting perfectly in here, at that speed, I've seen pieces of plastic come ripping off of bikes and hit the rider, get under the rear wheel, cut them loose, and then they're laying the bike down. I tried to explain that kind of safety thing, safety uh, philosophy to him, that they don't know what we do with our motorcycles and they need to be in the best working order that they can be. And I think he understood that. I'm not exactly sure. But anyway, the grommets are on the way. It's a week and a half. I can't ride my bike for a week and a half because I don't have the grommets. And it's awesome outside. I want to be on the motorcycle, but I can't be. Anyway, so if you have a sport bike that has a lot of plastic on it, when you get it back from the, from the uh, maintenance facility that you've had work done on your bike at, you know, check over the motorcycle. Make sure that, you know, everything is looking right. You know, is there any kind of weird stuff on the bike you didn't notice beforehand? Is there any kind of weird scarring that you didn't notice beforehand? You know, just to be on the safe side. And then if there is, well, you know, hopefully you have uh, uh, something that you can throw in their face that says, hey, you actually did mess this up. You need to pay for it. Anyway, guys, uh, just trying to keep everybody safe out there. Uh, have a good weekend.